Yes, I've become a necromancer. Look at this. It's alive, Igor. It's alive! <laughs> I can raise the dead. Only to slay them again immediately. Hello? Oh, yes. Yeah, there we go. Hey boys and girls, it's Night Stalker here. Welcome along today to La Grande Glory. Check it, check it out. Today, I'm going to play Nodachi. I kind of got one in my last little loot box and thought, ah, let's give this a go. I haven't done it in a long time, but I think it went and made a nice purple one. So uh, we'll see how we go. Um, I'm not wholly familiar with this map yet. We've only played maybe a dozen games on it, so I don't really have a plan. Um, we've got heroic unit limit on here in the frontier server, so uh, I'm going to take me some uh, loyal guards, which you may know as stalwarts. We're going to take the Condateri guard, who I don't usually take, but uh, you know, because the prefecture guard are so much better. But I thought, hey, let's have a play around. And of course, I've got my boys, my boys, the Kriegs Rat Fusiliers, who are just some of my, uh, well, probably my favourite ranged unit. After Houndsman, I'd say. I have to clarify that, after Houndsman. Certainly my favourite purple tier ranged unit. How's that sound? Anyway, without further ado, let's get into this game. Ah yes, our beautiful loading and animation. Check it, to check it out. Let's do this. I've got my giant, uh, giant Nadachi, my uh, super butter knife. I often use it for opening comically large letters. And uh, also, uh, probably buttering comically large bread as well. Like, you know, when you've got toast, that's just super-sized toast. Like, it's really big toast. The go-to buttering tool is definitely the Nodachi. Anyway, um, I probably should have started with the, uh, the, the Bang Bros, the Craig's at Fusiliers. Um, yes. So we'll bring them back down. Um, the idea here is I want to save the condos for a little bit. Uh, there'll be opportunity here to shoot across the bridge and to shoot people as they come in and if they're foolish enough to push up to the top supply there I'll be able to shoot them at point blank range with unlimited ammunition which is of course the Kriegs are at Fusilier's just ideal scenario so we're going to do that that's the plan what do we got here we've got some Pallies uh, we've got some Janissaries we've got some Cav because you know Cav don't worry, boys and girls, if you're terrible at the game, you can always play cavalry. Uh, I don't know if I want to go across here and get trapped. My unit is a nice unit, and I'm not highly proficient with the Nadachi yet. The last time I played with this weapon was a long, long time ago. So, let's just see how we go. Um, I'm also not used to do things like being made of tissue paper and gasoline-soaked rags. Uh, I don't really want to get them shot. Let's park them out there for the minute. Uh, and I'm also not being used to being able to not just hit the R key and getting a free heal. Uh, so I have to be a little bit careful. It's not my usual bag, baby. So what do we got going on here? We'll rebuild this, eh? We'll rebuild this in about... Oh, we'll let him. Does he want to do it? You want to do it, bro? Do you want to do it? Off you go. I don't know if rebuilding that gives you any points or anything like that, but... Who cares about points? Let's win the game. <laughs> uh, that, I almost did a silly. <laughs> Apparently he doesn't want to rebuild the bridge after all. But um, here we go. This is what we wanted the Kriegs Rats for. Usually you can take this A supply point just with peasants. You don't need to walk your palace guard and your imperial spear guard and stuff in there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I think we might be a little bit far away. I just don't want to get shot by cannons again. Here we go. You can hardly miss this sort of uh, this sort of block of troops over there. But anyway, let's get prepared for them to come across the bridge here. Um, if you are the defender, it's lovely to defend in here. Uh, if you've got a rock solid shield or a good infantry unit in front of your ranged units, your ranged units can forever just kill people. However, this wall, as you can see, just in front of us there. That is um, easily destructible, and you can treb through that hole if people are being a real pain and kind of just camping up here. Never mind, um, I can see we've got a whole bunch of ranged units already, so we're going to swap, swap over to the condos, and hopefully we can just help the team hold this little point. Oh, run, Kriegs Rats, run. There we go. And of course they swap out their ranged unit as well, lovely. Okay, so 
We've got two units of Imperial Shields. Now that is not going to be easy to demolish. How do you do this with an Adachi? How do you knock down shields with an Adachi? I don't think my E skill does it. No, don't run down there. Don't do that. Yeah, you're just going to lose troops for no good reason. Stay up here. Stay behind the condos. We use the condos as a shield. We'll just clear these guys real quick, as quickly as we possibly can, so that we can get back up to the top of the stairs before those shield guard get in here. We want to sit up here and allow our um, ball sack boys to uh, throw their ball sacks at the horrendous shields below us. So what do we do here? Hopefully these two longswords can get in here and start knocking over these guys. Because I've got really no idea how to fight Imperial Spear Guard with an Adachi. Anyway, if you've got tips for me, man, like how do you fight an Imperial Spear Guard with an Adachi? Tell me down in the comments, man. I need some help with the, this, this weapon. Give me some tips. Am I using garbage skills? Even if I am using garbage skills, uh, definitely we did well there. Just a little nervous. Treb could come through that hole in the wall. So, uh, problems. If you look at the map, we have some problems. Problems are they're pushing the B point behind us. Which is exactly what they should be doing. They shouldn't be wasting their troops time and effort on this up here when it's so well defended. I mean to do that they lost two entire units of Imperial Spear Guard. What was that about? <laughs> Some random arrows over the wall there. Um, the problem now of course is that we've left the point, uh, the, the way A to B open. Hey man. Who wants some? Who wanted some Nodachi? Who's got some bread needing some buttering? Well, I don't think I want to stand up here. Looks like a good way to get shot. And I don't like getting shot. I have a severe allergy to uh, arrows and musket balls. Severe allergy. So, let's cruise on back down this way and we'll try and support our team. Uh, we've got some javelins. A lot of range, probably too much. And the only melee unit up here. Anyway, let's see if we can do a nice charge into this lot. Ole! Into the Banner Knights, we should be able to slaughter them. <laughs> oh, the massacre! Kill some of those horses, boys. Yeah, kill them. Show those four-legged freaks what real skill looks like. And we lost. Not many. Two. We lost two condos in that massacre. Ho ho ho. And dodged a treb. Yes, I have a real thing for cavalry. Been doing a, a poll and a bit of research on how people feel about cavalry. So if you, as well as Nadachi tips, you want to feel like you want to tell me how you feel about uh, cavalry, love to hear it. I'm going to publish some findings eventually. It seems that uh, most people are not enjoying cavalry as part of the game. Overwhelmingly so, as a matter of fact. I'm going to stay away from that musket if he's off his horse because he can throw bombs on my unit and my unit is very light. And that short bow is a bit of a nightmare as well. I'm not going to rely on these banner knights because I don't like that. Oh, I don't like banner knights. I think they're made of uh, tissue paper as well. I don't feel like their buffs and things are useful in, in random siege. Absolutely, man. If you're going to play a five-man stack or a territory war, I can definitely see some... Uh, some. I'm going to get killed here, aren't I? Some, some uses for it. Anyway, we're now, now that these guys have run in and they're braced, we're just going to do the wait for the countdown, then we're going to counter-charge them. Let's do it. Bleed them, boys. That is how you condo. Right, let's go back here, and we'll wait for our shock attack to regenerate. Ho oh, ho. That wasn't a treb, but we're about to be trebbed, I guarantee it. Oh, yep, there we go. Or was it a treb? Leave my eyes checked, I think. Alright, um, we don't really want to go into there. These Imperial muskets will cause absolute carnage in there. More trebuchet. This unit's very light. If you if you sneeze at it, it will catch a cold and die. So you've got to be very careful with it. 
Are you not running away? I'll stay with you if you're not running away. Grandpas are totally worth it. I just keep wanting to pop a heal on them, you know? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, get out of it. Oh, he killed my guy. Two of them. Steve, Trevor, no. Oh, yeah. I got to heal. That's the thing I have to do now. Uh, this is going to get my unit killed. Unless, of course, we have some cavalry roving round, killing all of the stragglers. Let's kill off these palace guard real quick. Do us a charge into these guys, and hopefully they will use their advance on us, and consequently get killed. Yes, there we go. Um, using their advance on the uh, the condos there does mean, of course, that they can't do it on something that is much more worthwhile. And now they're going to die. Imperial uh, spear guard, uh, sorry, yeah, Imperial pike guard without a advance ready. Are useless. Getting a little low on the hit points here. Yeah, take that, boy. My Nadachi is better than your Nadachi. Ow, 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 ow. Um, do I go back and get a unit? It's the biggest question I've got right now. Looks like we're right here for now. Although if anyone comes through that with a unit of any sort of cavalry or any sort of fast infantry, they're going to wipe all three of those units that we have defending. So it would be a good idea to go and get something a little bit tougher than what we're using currently. Of course, what we're using currently is entirely dead, so, you know, whatever. They lived good lives, happy lives. They got a heap of kills too. Right. So kills are about even. Um, let's go grind some more enemies. This is going to be a fun unit to use. I'm, you know, being a bit of a beginner with the Nodachi. Uh, I think it'll give me a nice little safe block of infantry to hide in when I get my head kicked a couple of times. I'm very sensitive about getting kicked in the head. It upsets me a lot. I spent many nights crying about getting kicked in the head. It's emotionally scarring. Not just emotionally either, it turns out. Anyway, let's see what's going on. We have some pikes. We can definitely buddy with some pikes. And Wow, that, that unit of guns is still alive. And we have those Imperial muskets have managed to survive as well. So let's go and fully support these pikes. Put up a screen. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody's being real cheeky. Hopefully it'll cost them their lives. Valid but cheesy tactic, right? It's like a cannon rush. Completely valid. Not really worthy of respect, though, is it? Alrighty. Let's go in here. I can see those pike guard advanced already. Let's crouch. Those palace guarded uh, did their thing already. Oh, oh, ow, ow, ow. Whirly twirly. Man, they're doing quite a bit of damage with this weapon. Carve them up. Reached 100 kills already. We've got 7 minutes to go. Peasants. We can kill peasants, can't we? Peasants are free health, as far as I'm aware, for this weapon. Is that right? Pe peasants are free health? Ow. Get away from me. Get away. Oh, no. Oh, we got flanked. Alrighty. Oh, we got the Bang Bros. Who wants to fight with me? I <laughs> call all my, musket the bangs bro the, all my muskets the Bang Bros, just in case you're curious. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. Enjoy your innocence. Okay. What to do with these guys? I had expect them to push harder than that because just as I died there, I saw a big tsunami of blue coming back towards the final point. So I'll put them down there. That will allow us to shoot any stragglers and things away. Ow. Ah, take that. Ow, don't take that. No, no. I don't want to take that anymore. Ain't no taking it like a man when it's sharp and pointy. Anyway, let's move up. These guys are a little bit tougher than your average musket. So they should be able to fire at point blank range. And anyone who does make it through, they'll bayonet them. Ow. Yeah, those shields just hard for an Adachi, eh? I need, I need some tips, man. What am I doing right? What am I doing wrong with my Adachi? 
do my best. Do my best. I heard people say that you don't use an alt usually, but I kind of like the alt. Um, I think I'll switch to the other one though, the, the giant single slash. I like I like the look of that. Man, these man, muskets and pikes are just massacring them. Absolutely massacring them. Careful of a flank charge there. Oh, we nearly up to 200 kills. That's crazy. No Dachi strong. No Dachi? Yes, Dachi! <laughs> Alright, well, if we want some more kills, we'd better. Yeah. Alright, yeah, we better go and get some ammo. Oh, wait. We've only got 200 troops left. Let's go. We've got four bullets in a dream. Let's do this. Hopefully we can bayonet some more peasants. Everything they bring out now will be pretty much peasants at the end of the game. There's always that one guy, of course, who kept his high-tier cavalry unit till the very last while his team died around him. Don't be that guy. <laughs> hey, I uh, saw you this time. I'm not going to get flanked on that same point again. Can you knock people off a horse with no Dachi? I'm struggling to do that. I know that the stab doesn't do it. I was just trying to stab him as he goes past. Yeah, here we go, here's a bunch of pike militia. Or watchmen, one of the two, it's hard to tell when they're in the... Uh... Wow, no, Darchi kills peasants real good. It's a lot harder to do with a longsword, I'll tell you that. Anyway, we're down to two bullets and a dream. So we've got three minutes, so we'll go and uh, get some ammo. They've got 141 troops left. It's going to be one of those games. So what we'll do is we'll try and kill off the couple of people uh, that are very ballsy and brave and want to come out of the safe zone and then I might just feed this unit to the, the defenders as a bit of a consolation prize. Oh peasants, delicious yummy peasants. Oh that guy going up the stairs is going to die see I'm just, um, all I got to do is tell my Kriegs to attack in a direction and anyone pushing into Kriegs like that is going to get shot and bayoneted to death real quick. Where are you guys? Have you finished? Is he dead? Yes there we go and we lost one. It was never going to work out too well for him. I'm really not sure what that person was doing running up those stairs like that. Were they like, YOLO, I'm going to capture the uh, the point? What good would that have done? Yeah, see, look, at, I like when people, when this happens, right? We'll go off to the side so we don't get uh, culverined. But I like, you know, when, when the match is over like this, there's a couple of minutes left and there's no troops. I like it when people, uh, they fight, right? They don't just give up. Now who cares about score? Why do you need a score? Unless you're trying to get MVPs or something ridiculous. Or you know, you've got the quest of get three A pluses. I am not a legend, I made legend. It's just cheesy advertising. <laughs> Alrighty, let's shoot some of these very brave heroes. No horse for you, sir. <laughs> Oh, he's an Adachi. Is he the one I was fighting before, maybe? Um, if you find yourself facing guns like this, do what this guy's doing. Run around in circles. The guns really can't hit you until you lose your horse. There we go. Oh, I even got the kill. Alrighty. Um, so... I guess I'll just park these guys up here. Um, they're going to get killed by the, the enemy there, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They can have some free kills. They're fighting bravely. If they weren't popping out and just sitting in the circle waving at us, I would consider probably not feeding this unit to them, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. Plus we might get the odd hit or two. Oh, okay. Polax. Polax and its momentary CC immunity. I hate it. It's my humblest opinion that absolutely no heroes should have any form of CC resistance in a CC-based combat system. It is a ridiculous advantage. Hey, he's going to come and fight me though. He's not a coward. Oof. Poor old longsword. He gave it a best go. At least he's going to get some points for um, taking hero damage, right? <laughs> Ow. 
Oh, that's going to be the end of me. Ah, and there's four seconds left to go. GG, well played, and I appreciate if you're one of the people here that uh, didn't give up no matter what. I appreciate you. You're amazing. So we got ourselves a nice S tier, and we are a predator. We're a predator. Don't take that the wrong way. That is lovely. Uh, and Headhunter, that's my favourite badge. Um, nice. See, some of these awards are still the same, even though three with the same units new, 500k is new. And I think all the rest of these are just the ones from before. So, um, <laughs> long bows and claymores, I love it. Sear eggs, even. Crazy. So we killed a whole bunch of peasants at the end of the year. That's pretty much all they had left. And we still managed to get 2 million and 1.6. So that's fantastic. Condos did amazing. Krieg's rats did perfectly fine. And little guards, obviously, were the ones that killed a whole bunch of peasants. GG, well played, team. We managed to come in fourth. 207 kills come forth. Never mind. Oh, well, boys and girls, I hope you learned something new or you just enjoyed the battle. Thank you so much for coming to my channel.